Mistakes are a necessity, uh, a guarantee in life. We know we're going to make them and we know that other people are going to make them as well. So why is it that apologizing for our mistakes is something that is so difficult to do? Under the realm of emotional intelligence, this really has to do with our self-regard. Self-regard is knowing our strengths and our weaknesses and seeing them as limitations for the arena that we play in, whether it be the job and work that we do, um, whether it be the types of relationships that we have, our, our social or community engagement. Our strengths and our weakness sort of really define what we're doing, what we're capable of doing as well. And the emotionally intelligent individual understands these limitations as a positive and uses them to their advantages. So what that means is as a leader or a manager or an employee, when you know what your limitations are, then you're capable of identifying very clearly the things that you need for development. But you're also very capable of identifying when you're heading into projects or heading into discussions where you know that you don't have the skill set to flourish, that you would draw upon the collective intelligence. You would delegate tasks to members of your team that are strong in this area. You would um, collaborate with members of your peer group that are strong in the area that you may not be in. This type of behavior flourishes interpersonal relationships, which is another realm of emotional intelligence. So we can see that rather than taking our mistakes and placing them into the negative bucket of, I'll never be good at this, uh, I should feel so ashamed for it, this is really taking a hit for my self-esteem, rather than doing that, we have to develop the emotional intelligence skills of interpersonal relationships using things like delegation and collaboration to not just boost our collective capability and the relationships between people, but what ends up happening is as an individual, you start to adopt some of these skills within processes. The more and more you do collaborative work, the more you learn from other people within your peer group. And over time, you naturally adopt new skills, new intelligence that you use moving forward. What naturally happens, things that lived in your weakness um, spectrum of your arena start to become less and less of a barrier. And you'll notice that your strengths categories begin to expand. The other element for you know mistakes and apologies and why they're so difficult is certainly related to our consistency and character. So if we think about from a managerial perspective and the employees that we are caring for, if they were to behave in ways that are detrimental to the consistency of their character, so if they make mistakes in their work or make mistakes in their behavioral choices and they continue to make the same mistakes over and over again, we have to learn how to dial down our empathy and our interpersonal relationship, how much we care about this person while we dial up our reality testing. What are they really showing me? Because giving away as a leader all trust and all compassion is necessary to foster really uh, deep relationships with people. That's how you get the best out of them. But discarding um, questionable actions to the consistency of their character is not a smart managerial move. Giving away trust, giving away compassion speaks to my character. Lying uh, and being distrustful or disrespectful is indicative of their character. So the fact that I would hold someone accountable to a consistency of character standard does not mean that I was naive. If I give someone else a second chance and they behave in the same way, does that speak more about my character, giving them a second chance and trying to develop them, or does it speak more to their character? It all, behavior always lands in the lap of the person who is demonstrating the behavior. And so when we think about making mistakes, apologizing, seeing the realism that is part of the mistake process, these are all the things that we consider under emotional intelligence to make sure that we foster really strong relationships. And then relationships that need to dissolve, we make sure that they dissolve with the utmost of care and trust still intact.